like people need to start appreciating the effort I put into not being serial killer. Serial killer. Serial killer. Everybody in your world, please help me if I die. Well, I'm only a millionaire, I'm only kill me. Who has your album, my sweet? Mubarak. Shall I should call him? <laughs> yeah, call him. <laughs> <laughs> ah, another will be down. Is it on your album? It's not on my album. All this, they are Malians. Oh. <laughs> Following the untimely demise of Mobad, almost everyone has been pointing hands at his former employer, the boss of Malians music, Nayamali. You see, I also did the same, but not after I saw this clip. So, I was up there, oh, a few very more, but one hour I go long, few very more. One hour ago, I'm free when you go back by it. And other she surrounded us, other she surrounded us, but listen, don't stress it. I'm going to tell you, from my last time, but she will be doing it. But if anything happened to you, I'm going to tell 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 you, you want to kill yourself, you know. You said you're not okay. Was still checking doctor, waiting for doctor's scan. We bat it, blood, we bat it. But if you're not better, we'll go back to doctor again. Do you get? Oh, oh, yes. But you are the you king. You are the king. Only... You are the king of your own world, not me. I don't control your world. You want no more. You're free. You're the king of your own world, which means, but I want you to be a king around yourself too. So on that day, I like that. I don't want me anybody to stress there. I want to come back for a boy. Tell them no, you are the king. I'm going to suffer already. I'm covering what really happened and what led to the death of the 27 year old singer and songwriter became somehow increasingly complex. But I've seen a couple of videos on social media accusing Nayamali as a prime suspect here, with his Instagram followers decreasing day by day and even one of his signees in on this case, leaving the Malian music record label without telling anyone. He literally just changed his Instagram bio from Malian's music to Zero Sound. I exactly do not know what that means. To fully understand what happened to the young songwriter and how everyone who is a suspect is connected to his untimely demise, we need to take a look at his roots, family and who he was before becoming the mobile winner of today. You see, Moba's father is a pastor in a Kiribu Mamsera from church which almost everyone in Nigeria calls Sele. Literally after Moba's blow up, becoming a celebrity and being signed into the Malian's music record label, his status did change, making a lot of money and becoming also popular. And here is also where we meet the prime suspect number 2 who is accused of being responsible for his death. This is Sam Simbalogun, popularly known as Sam Larry, a friend to Moba's former boss Nairamali. You see, on countless occasions, Samlaya has been seen harassing Mobad doing video shoot and probably everywhere it does seem. My guy just left now. The Chanjalea was okay. the cause. By them Samlari and now. My phone is with them. You understand? I'm not going to go back to I'm not going to go back to school. No, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Starting the lane. Finishing, but you see what's going on, yeah? Now I'm only people and what's it called by himself? He even got to a point where Mobad had to sue Sam for threatening his life and damaging his properties worth over 8 million naira. Here's Mobad's wife by the way, Wumi, and this is their first child who surprisingly looks way much like Sam Larry than Mobad. I don't know if you can say this but we'll get to how this happened in the later part of this video. Well, after becoming the Mobad everyone knows today, releasing hits like KPK Kupoke with award-winning producer Rex in 2020, members in his father's church started accusing him of doing Ogun. Ogun is just a Yoruba word for witchcraft or voodoo, whichever one you do prefer. You see, in a well-grounded African society community where your father assumes any religious position of sort, you are automatically regarded as a pastor, someone who is seen as a saint as your father and is expected to follow in his footsteps probably. Also, it appears that Mobad did the quite opposite of what society expected of him. Rather than going to school, he dropped out of the polytechnic, his father enrolled him in and pursued his music full time, doing many jobs like carpentry. Because I used to have um, two friends then too that do music too. But me, I used to make money from them like carpenter work. Yeah. <laughs> so I used to pile all this money together yeah. Yeah. and go to the studio. Those are my own first move. Like, I need to go and work then. 
Use you don't know you, you can't use carpenter money to to record songs and it not be sweet <laughs> first of all to hear mobad is a highly accomplished musician building him for himself just like how charlie popo is doing for himself right now in the music industry the first problem which seemed to have caused the rift between mobad and the malians music record label happened when mobad wanted to change his manager you see Nayamali's brother tundi appears to have been the manager of mobad during his signed contract to the record label malians music but when Mubad wanted to reportedly change, he said he was beaten up by everyone in the studio. He said, and I quote, The event of the last two days have left indelible scars in my heart. I've always just wanted to create good music and to provide for my family and myself through my music. As an artist from the streets, I thought the Malian family would be a good place for me. However, recent events and certain truths have come to light which threaten my peace health and career. Because of these issues, I informed Nayamali of my intention to change my manager. I went to Nayamali's house with my producer and friend to have this conversation. The guy I was with, we attacked, humiliated and also stripped. We were unable to escape. Three of us had to be checked into the hospital to get medical care for injuries sustained during the assault. Nayamali was fully present throughout this event and in fact coordinated some of the attacks as he instructed the boys to beat us up. Naimali, by the way, denies all this, saying that Mubad was high on the S word. Nobody's gonna touch him, but he's just biting everybody, but you understand? Like, obviously, Mama record him, but don't shape you again. He's about to see He's just biting everybody, but he said it's not high. I said Mubad, or it's high. Go in the car, bro. Well, again, I wanted to believe that Naimali was simply lying and trying to cover up for what he has done to Mubad. Probably he was certainly high on the S word. And I did find the clip of Mubad. Puffing a few of the puffy was literally. So there's literally a blurry line finding out who to believe between Naramali and Mubad. But one thing that was clear that everyone is supposed to believe is the reason why Mubad terminated his contract with the Malians Music Record label. After being fed up with the drama of being in the Malians Music Record label, which included him and his colleague being raided by the NDLEA for possession of hard drugs. On September of 2022, Mubad left and went to create his own record label called Immolalization. I don't even know that, that word. And here is where Sam Larry enters into the picture of people pressing the young songwriter. Most of Mubad's song lyrics seem to have always shown how frustrated he has been, but no one really paid notice to this at all. On the 27th of June 2023, where Mubad filed the petition captioned Petition to Threat to Life, Malicious Damage of Properties against Sam Larry. You see, on several occasions, Samlaya has been seen harassing Mobad and even threatening to kill him. So this got me thinking, there's actually two things involved here. One, because Mobad left the Malian's music record label to become an independent singer or because Mobad's wife was probably Sam Larry's former girlfriend. Or the third option which Sam Larry claimed that the Oba Elegushi has sent him to deal with Mobad. As earlier mentioned, Sam Larry is Nairamali's friend and he also helps in the promotion of songs of artists in the Malian's music scene. You could literally say he's a big name in the industry and yes, she will be correct. He has been seen a couple of times with government officials, politicians, the Jagabans that run the street of Lagos and even Nigeria as a whole. The exact moment Mubad filed the petition against Samlari. Within the petition, Samlari claims to have been sent to deal with Mubad by Oba Elegushi. This also begs the question, who exactly is Oba Elegushi? Well, the Oba Elegushi is the king to the Elegushi royal family of Ethiopia, and they also come out to disclaim any relation they have to Samlari. He says Samson Balogun is not a member of the royal family and does not work for the royal family or king in any capacity. Like other celebrities, politicians, religious and community leaders, he visits the palace to pay homage to the king and seek royal blessings, just like other members of the public. While expressing our condolences to the family and friends of the least Mubad, we would like to add our voices to the calls for a thorough investigation into circumstances surrounding his death with a view to unravel any foul play. Well, if Samlari wasn't working for the Obaile Gushi, then was it purposely hurting Mubad because of revenge? Was the plan to eliminate Mubad and all of his music assets transferred to the baby and the wife who betrayed him? You see, Wumi, Mubad's wife, allegedly has sexual relationship with most of the Malian's music team members 
and one of them is actually Sam Larry. And that answered the questions of how the child looked so much like Sam Larry than he is to the father. Was Sam Larry planned to eliminate Mobad and all of his music assets transferred to the baby and wife who betrayed him so Sam could eventually inherit all of Mobad's assets? as a father of the boy or was Sam literally just fighting Mobad for his son and why Mobad refused to hand him over well this guy here is prime boy him and Mobad have been childhood friends and they did stuff together and eventually did make it big in the music industry but he's not like literally big as Mobad is as most of his music literally feels like high life or kind of music that are more tuned to older people you see on a faithful night Mobad had a night show which he was supposed to perform in. So him and this prime boy guy both attended the show together, coupled with his wife and his child of course. Probably before getting to the show or after they were done with the show, Mobad had an argument with prime boy and they both had a little altercation which resulted in Mobad trying to land a punch on prime boy's face. Then he smashed the glass of the private jeep he hired to transport him, his wife and his friend to the show. The injury was not a big deal to Mobad as he felt he could deal with it and it would heal after a few days. But at midnight, he started having some severe pains on his hand. Probably this is where you've seen some TikTok videos accusing Prime Boy of using some sort of jazz on Mobad. But the story goes a lot more deeper than that. You see, Mobad has a private note that always comes to his house to treat him whenever he's sick, which almost every source of research have looked into says she's a quack. If you don't know what a quack is, they are literally medical practitioners that are not certified but still administer treatment to people anyways. At the moment Mobad had his nose called, she was unfortunately unavailable to come over and administer treatment to Mobad at that very moment. But it also happens that this prime boy has his own personal nose which we later know as a nurse that administered a treatment to Mobad. After the nurse which everyone still calls quack by the way, gave Mobad the medication, he became experiencing some sort of pox around his face and his body. It was at this point he had to be rushed to the hospital and on their way there, he kicked the bucket. A day after he was declared wanted by the Nigeria police, Woduni Ibrahim, aka that's also known as Prime Boy, has turned himself in. Ibrahim, um Police say they've declared you wanted. That no, that they've been trying to. They've called you separately and you refused to come. Um, I, I can't say that's a big lie. Like, I, you know, I would like to receive a message from the police and I will refuse them. Even now, before before all this wanted issue, I, I even want to turn myself like not turning in. I want to go and explain myself at the station because people start accusing me wrongly and. So, but people that I called said I should chill, I should not go anywhere. So the police, you know, like I should wait for them to invite me. So I keep waiting, waiting, and suddenly I just found myself wanted online yesterday. People started calling me that I wanted one millionaire for who find me. And I was shocked, I was surprised. I called my lawyer, called my family, and they just, asked, they just said I should just calm down, that nothing will happen. So far I know nothing about it. So, and I'm here now, so... Okay, what's your relationship with Mobad? Uh, Mobad is my childhood friend. He's my friend. Like, mm -hmm. Continue. But, but all those time that um, stepmother, no care. I was, I was, I was, I was his stepmother then. I was his dad. I was his friend. I was everything to him because he lived with me then. My mom feed two of us together. Okay. Son. Were you so, with him the day he died? No, I was. I was not with him. You were not with him I was not with him. I, we departed after that show because he chased me down from the car. How do you feel that they are saying you know something about his death? How did I feel? I don't even know how I feel losing him. So now they are now accusing me. So the feelings is crazy. Like I just know God see it all. Like along, okay. Mobad was among a group of Ikorodu born stars who constituted street pop's second generation and brought the insecurity of inner kids. To the wider world via music. In between dropping street hits like Ronaldo Mio 4, he released Imole, which translates to I'm the light of the world. A deal signed with Nayamali's Malian's music was supposed to facilitate those global aspirations and set the stage for Mubaz's light to touch the universe. But that deal led him to rest in peace. So, who, in your opinion, is actually responsible for his untimely death? Want to hear what you have to say in the comment section? And by the way, do hit thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that and I'll catch you in the next one.
Bye.